Number one asks you to write a survey question that you would expect to collect numerical data for. So numerical data is going to be what it sounds like. It's just going to be data that is in number form. So the question needs to be one that the person that you're asking would answer a number as their answer. So how many texts do you send in a day? That would have a number answer. Or how much do you weigh? Or how many Snapchats do you send in an hour? How much time do you spend on homework? How much television do you watch? How many apps are on your phone? How many contacts are in your phone? Anything like that that has a number answer would be a numerical survey question. Number two asks you to write a survey question for which you would expect to collect categorical data. So this one is going to be non-number answers. So when you're doing categorical questions, the person needs to not answer a number. So what is your favorite animal? Um, what day of the week are you on your phone the most? Who is your favorite teacher? Um, could be like, what's your favorite class? What do you spend them, you know, what app do you use the most? Something that's going to be an answer that is not a number. That's going to be a categorical data question. Number three asks us to select all the statistical questions. So let's take a look at your lesson summary in your student workbook to look at what a statistical question is. So you can see here you had the definition of numerical data and categorical data for questions one and two. Um, and then here it talks about statistical and non-statistical questions. So the, the basic here is that there's variability in the data that's collected when you have a statistical question. So people can answer different things or the answers can be different where non-statistical questions do not vary in their answer. And then they give you some examples to help you um, come up with what is what. So if we go back to number three, it says, you know, select the statistical one. So we're looking for variability in the answers. So now um, number part A, letter A says, what's the typical amount of rainfall for the month of June? So this could be different. Okay, so could typical rainfall is different than actual rainfall. It's just an estimate of how much is going to happen. Where in part B, it says, how much did it rain yesterday in that Mexico City International Airport? So that's a very specific answer. You look up how much it rained. That's the only answer, acceptable answer that people can say. C, why do you listen to music? That's not numerical answers. So that's not going to be a statistical question. How many songs does the class usually listen to? Okay, usually is not exactly, so that's going to have variability. E, how many songs did you listen to today? That's a very exact answer, so no variability. What's the capital of Canada? That's a categorical question. How long does it typically take for, a second, for second graders to walk a lap around the track? That's going to have variability, so then that one is statistical.